Blast Over with Brian Briggs is a Geo Bartlett production. So you talked about yeah, adding some purple and that coral so, color. Yeah, I, yeah, I like the variation. That's really cool. Awesome. So it's yeah. gonna be a little more like tricks and stuff. And then, like I said, like something special in the background and that splatter and stuff. You know, and get a little yeah, like, really more cool. chaotic with it and I stuff. So Yay. that'll be fun. We got the guys next door, kind of like yeah, doing some remodeling. I saw that. Too, or, or they're leaving, so they're picking stuff apart. Ah. So you hear some drills and stuff when I like hide any body. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Let's stand up together real quick okay. so we can just have your arm hang down. Don't mind me psychotically talking to myself. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Do it all the time. Excited. Ready for this one? S super excited. I really like this kind of stuff. I know. You said yeah. that your grandma used to do that stuff, so. Just the arm perfect, yeah. Yeah, my grandma's a real big water color. Yeah, I love that. You want to check this out real quick? Yeah. Like the way oh, yeah. it develops yeah. your arm like that? Yeah, it's perfect. It is. Like you said, it lays great. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Well, I met my grandma a couple times, you know, but it's weird how, like, sometimes you see, like, the genetics are in here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, what I heard, I think she's a... Like, was an art teacher and stuff too, so she has all these beautiful paintings. That's and really cool. One of the times I met her, she gave me and like, gifted me like three of them, and I always like stared at that. But I love that style, so it's really cool to turn it into like, what I do now. Yes, and use yeah. Tattoos. Okay, so I've been a little bit busy since the last time that we've seen each other, and things have changed just a little bit. Nowadays, I'm booking out about eight or nine weeks thanks to social media. Uh, Instagram and Facebook have been a huge accelerator in uh, finding the right kind of clients for me. Are you having a hard time with people being patient? Like, with uh, trying to wait that long or no? Not as much, because a lot of them are like return people, so they can't. So they know how you are, yeah. Yeah. People value the experience, you know, so they. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody's kind of moving over to these little silent and style machines. Yeah. Really that is cool, ergonomic. yeah. <laughs> These kind of clients are interested in my specialty styles, black and gray, cover-ups especially, and like this tattoo, one of my favorite styles is watercolor. Is this like representing something for you? No, I just saw your watercolor and thought it was really cool. And awesome. Yeah. It's cool too though. I really like when people like just like my work. I, I, I did. I loved it. I'm like, okay, come up with something and these are I'm able to focus on doing a lot of larger projects for these people. Uh, a lot of times I complete up to a half sleeve or sometimes even bigger in one day. And I've been planning on doing quite a bit more traveling too. Uh, the reason I want to travel more is to take seminars and you know learn as much as I can from some of the greats out there. Somebody I watch online that is a tattoo artist I saw him take over 20 seminars last year, and his game evolved like crazy. So I know that uh, that's something I need to do since I'm in a tattoo shop by myself. The only way that I can continue to learn things from others and to have other people's skill and knowledge rub off on me is to put myself around them. And the only way I could put myself around them is by going to these conventions and these seminars. April, we're going to North Carolina. A few months ago, we went to New York City. Uh, I'm going to be going home as well. I like to go home too and uh, kind of just 
get back to my roots and work with the people that uh, taught me the stuff I know and it's just always really good to get back to those clients too and work with the people that kind of uh, gave me the foundation to build up to where I'm at right now. So yeah, I'm looking forward to all this traveling, uh, especially North Carolina in April. I'm going to be tattooing at the All-American Tattoo Convention in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I'm uh, doing a very large piece on a guy I went to basic training with. And uh, that's going to be an adventure. So, you know, follow me on social media and make sure you're uh, following my Instagram and my Facebook, Pony Boy Tattoos, and just check uh, Iron Tiger Tattoos or search Brian Briggs and you're going to find me. to get a hit next, you know, yeah. instead of having like a process and how to do it, he would just kind of, he will, yeah, because mine was all over the place, like, you know, he'd do a, a <laughs> butterfly here, then he'd jump up here, I'm like, what, why, like, are you 80, do a lot 80, of tattoo artists do that? Only if they don't have a method. <laughs> yeah, the only time I've seen it is if we're trying to hurt somebody too sometimes. Like. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, because honestly, yeah, I, I don't see it much besides that. Like, yeah, he said like he did. He has a like girlfriend's been nagging you for a tattoo for like three weeks, you know? Oh. Uh, you know, like, kind of play bounce around and shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Not his girlfriend, but he did that. <laughs> No, I don't know though. Um, I, maybe an experience. Yeah, or it could just be that not, too, yeah. Or like not having a plan, like you're saying. You know, that's what yeah, if you take a break so often and then come back to something, you know, oh, where was I at? Or yeah, what, you know, what should I do next? So. Yeah, that's true too, you know, if you're like inconsistent on it like that and you just don't, you know, yeah. you just don't have a good plan. That's what I figured out. Um, I guess early on, you know, like. A lot of the stuff I messed up when I was first starting or whatever, it was just, I didn't have a lot of good plans for it. I was just kind of like trying to figure it out as I went or something. Right. It's never a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Just like uh, ta uh, tattoos are like that, but I figured out that that's how I work best with all art now, like painting and stuff. Too. Yeah. Like if I know what I'm going to put on the canvas before I start, then it comes out way, way better. Yeah, yeah. I've also been recording weekly, sometimes bi-weekly podcasts too, so if you're interested as a client in learning some uh, insider information or if you're a tattoo artist and you want to kind of learn more about my process or anything, the podcast is a really cool way of doing that. Uh, sometimes it's just me talking about what's on my mind too. You can search that like anywhere they have podcasts, just search Tattoo Talk with Brian Briggs. And today's tattoo is my favorite style right now, it's watercolor, and I also just really love doing flowers, really any style of flower and any flower is always really cool, especially when I get to do a full half sleeve and kind of make it flow with the body this way. Uh, it's really the kind of tattoo I look forward to and I dream about. Tamara is like an ideal client too, she's a really cool person, always good conversation. Uh, she's a foster parent and she was a social worker, so it's really interesting stuff. I'm, I'm really into that kind of thing. I think that uh, we need more good people that are looking out for the kids and the future generations. And, and uh, I really love being able to give back to these kind of people in this little way or whatever and like tattoo them and give them a piece of their story. And, my like artistic interpretation of it. She's 
is always really patient, and she always lets me be creative, so I couldn't ask for anything better when it comes to doing a half sleeve tattoo. That's pretty much what I need. It's a recipe for success. Places they just don't talk at all. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Okay, this is great. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty common. Yeah. Like, and I get it. Like they're in the zone. Right. Too, but it's like. It's a bad thing too, you know. I don't know. It's like either it's weird because there's this line where like either people drag it out, or um, or they maybe they charge by the piece sometimes and they just try to rush through it hella quick, you know. Yeah. So it's like you don't want either of those. No. <laughs> It's always too late by the time you figure it out that that's their intention. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. I guess this is what it's going to be. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you would like to book a consultation, please just text me at 209-300-9334 and we can get started. We can talk about the idea to your tattoo. We can go from there. If you like the episode, please like it and share it with your friends. I'd love to hear from them too.